Go ahead, good morning. Hi, um, I, I'm actually calling for some uh, technical support, some technical issues we're having here. Um, is is there an advisor that's available? Um, you come for a Bradwell, Bradwell guy, uh. Okay. Um, is there anyone on staff right now? Um, there's no, mate, there's no Magnox staff in as such. It, there's just this a is, contract as well. This is the today. Magnox site, right? Yes. Okay. Um, then I've reached the right place. Um, if I could be transferred to the control room, please. No, there's no control room anymore. It's, 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 it's a decommissioning site. It's been shuttered? Pardon? It's been shuttered? It's shut down? It, it's a bit, it, yeah, it's shut down. It's, it's called mothball, isn't it? Isn't that what they call them? It, mothball? Mothball, then? It won't be open anymore now. It's, um, it's, we're, we're, de- we're in a decommissioning stage at the moment. Okay, so they're, they're oh, retiring the reactor. That's so. terrible. <clears throat> what I need you to do... Um, How dreadful. You're, you're located outside the facility a good ways, a couple hundred feet, if I remember correctly. I need you to go into uh, the former reactor room, and I need you to pull out a uranium rod, and I need you to swing it above your head. <laughs> Can you say that, please? Yeah, I need you to go grab one of the uranium fuel rods and swing it above your head, sort of like uh, Braveheart, like you're a medieval knight fighting for your freedom and the honor of your country. And then I'll meet you out front, outside the guard shack, and we can engage in a, a duel. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to use a, a mop handle. And I'll be the judge. I am the judge, the line judge. I'm not very good at sure. sword fighting, though, so if you win, um, I would ask that it be a gentleman's duel and you don't kill me. <laughs> I should have read the whole Wikipedia article, decommissioned in 2002. <laughs> I was going to ask him if he could uh, get me a, uh, you know, a jar full of the water from the cooling tank. I hear that's actually And um, I could add it to this jar of Branston pickle I bought. Zach's probably knows what Branston pickle is. Deuterium. Branston pickles. What? Branston pickle. It's a British condiment. Is it like relish? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I, I like dill relish and sweet relish. They're both. Yeah, it's here. It is from Wikipedia. It's uh, Branston pickle is made from a variety of diced vegetables, including swede, carrots, onions cauliflower and gherkins pickled in a sauce made from vinegar tomato apple and dates with spices such as mustard coriander garlic cinnamon pepper cloves nutmeg and cayenne pepper so it's got sugar it's like a chutney kind of yeah yeah dill dill good morning nuclear mrc uh yes go ahead david sorry i've got some oh no you go ahead i'm eating some branched and pickle yes I, I, i'm calling you from uh bradwell the Magnox site. From where? Bradwell. Um, we were hired for the decommissioning. Right. Okay, and and we've had a bit of a, an incident. Um, reactor three, uh, when we were draining the fuel uh, the fuel pond, um, one of our employees, David, actually uh, ingested some of the liquid. He drank. He got a mason jar, and he dipped mm-hmm. it into the cooling pond. And now he's saying that when he urinates in the dark, it glows. Yeah, I added it to my Branston pickle, and it gave it a piquant flavor. But now I glow when I urinate, so what should I do? We're, we're not quite sure what to do. Yeah, well, can I just tell you that this phone call and the number that you've dialed is registered? Uh-huh. Yeah, in the phone book, that's how we got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one of the other guys that was here, he grabbed one of the fuel rods and was swinging it over his head and told us to call him Braveheart. But then he, he tripped and fell and um, into the pile of rods that we had taken out already. And now yeah. they're, they're getting hot. And um, he's glowing too, but like his whole body's glowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so think we smeared uh, mustard all over him because we heard that is like reflective to – um, radiation. That is that. That's true, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just carry on talking, my friend, because you're talking nonsense, aren't you? I, I'm not sure. Like, I'm not a Scientologist. No, 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 you're not. No. 
So, um, the, uh, you want to carry on wasting your phone bill? Feel free, my friend. Feel well, free. We build this call collect, so you're paying for it. You want some Branston pickles, sir? I have some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, isn't it? Excellent. So, when when we initiated the call, the charges are paid for by the receiving party. Oh, so yeah. Thank thank you, um, British taxpayer. Appreciate that. I, what? What idiot pays by the minute for a phone, though? Like, what the fuck? It's stupid. Why would you? Why would you do that? God damn it, motherfucker! You think we're calling from a telephone? Listen, my friend. I don't actually care where you're calling from. <gasps> well, <laughs> I'm gasping. He's gonna get into a round. Co- you, you could be calling from the moon for all I care. <gasps> I'm Maybe calling from the payphone located it, down it, the street. No, no, you listen to me now. I've sat and heard you griping away. What? I just think you're two pretty sick individuals. Why would you say Why that? don't you just go play with yourselves? Maybe we are while we're on the phone. Maybe we're going to oh, play yeah. with each other while we're talking to you. Hence, hey, why don't you smear Branston pickle all over yourselves? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, That's and a thank good you. Idea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Why don't you smear Branston pickle all over yourself? It's a really good idea. God, I almost choked on what, what I was what eating. Is I, don't even know. I thought you would have known. Is this axe? I don't know. 